education serves many as a pathway to success. Regrettably, each year 200,000 low-income high school graduates are capable of attending college, but don't. They don't have the money. They can't afford tutors or college prep courses. They don't have parents who know how to guide them. Their high schools are understaffed. They're intimidated by the process. But now, they can succeed. Welcome to College Possible. I found out about College Possible during homeroom in my sophomore year. We make a really concentrated effort and spend a lot of time in our partner schools. There's sort of an art form to finding the right kids. You know, there's some kids that you know are at risk of dropping out of high school and probably aren't even going to finish. And then there's a group of low-income kids who are high flyers, who are almost sure to go to college and earn big scholarships. And that's not really our group either. We're trying to find kids in that academic middle, the kids who, with some intensive help, could make it to a four-year college and succeed when they get there. Most students in our program are first-generation college students. The average family income for a student in our program is about $25,000 a year. They have to write a short essay. We look at teacher recommendations. Are they willing to put in a little bit of time to get in? After school, twice a week for two hours, they do an interview. And try to find kids who we think are going to be the best fit for our program. You get the test preparation, you learn how to fill out college applications, look for scholarships, and they even took you on trips to visit college campuses. And I had never seen a college campus before. If we work together, think about the difference we can make. Think about the impact we could have with just the organizations represented in this room. We've got Jim McCorkle here from Admission Possible, a group that helps promising young people from low-income families attend college. 99% of the admission possible class of 2008 got into college. 99%. Where's Jim? Where's Jim? There he is back there. The vast majority stay in college and earn their degrees. Admission possible operates in just two states now. So imagine if it was 10 or 20 or 50. I think the work that we're doing helps demonstrate that a solution is available. And I think our future is really bright because I think we could serve 200 or 300 or 400,000 kids one day all across America. College possible on three. One, one two, two, three. College possible! Education is their path out of poverty for them and for future generations. It would be very nice to see my daughter as a lawyer or a doctor. I can see College Possible serving so many people with AmeriCorps members. I'd love to see it everywhere.